Hey guys, what's up? My name is Riddy and this is Riddy DIY and on this channel I do DIYs, thrift flip, shopping hauls, and general how-to videos. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and if you want, you can subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. In this week's video, I wanted to copy and recreate a West Elm Snowflake Garland for cheaper. The one from West Elm was $24 and I ended up making mine for only about $5. I did use my Cricut Explore Air 2, so if you don't have a Cricut, you may want to cut out snowflakes with the felt, which is totally fine. I just suggest maybe doing more simple snowflakes. The ones that I picked out already were a little bit more difficult even with the Cricut, so I definitely suggest simple snowflakes if you're going to cut it out by hand. The yarn that I'm using as well as my favorite scissors are going to be linked down below. I got them from Amazon and if you like you can go ahead and get those and I get a little bit of commission if you do. Alright, let's go ahead and make some snowflakes. Now that we have our yarn chain for the garland, we're now going to use Cricut Design Space to create these snowflake images to cut out of the felt, and then we'll almost be done. Okay, so the first place I'm going to look is going to be in images. Ooh, there are some cute fall ones, but that is not what we're here for. Type in snowflake. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go with this one for one. Actually, this one is pretty good too. Okay, I'll just insert all of them and take a look. Okay, I've decided to go with these two. I think that is probably the closest I'm going to get to the other ones. Since my chain is about six and a half feet, give or take, I'm going to go ahead and make 20 two by two inch snowflakes so 10 of each and i don't know if i'll use all of them but i'm going to go ahead and do it to be on the safe side so i'm going to go ahead and make it and times it by 10 which should make 20 in total and then my felt is 9 by 12. okay and then i'm going to go ahead and press continue now I just need to connect my Cricut and pick felt as my material. Thank you. 
you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. And leave comments below anything you want to say about the DIY or just to say hi in general. Alrighty, I will see you guys next week. Bye.